sorry about that, Gemini. Uh, we had to um, to start over again. I had some uh, technical difficulties with my camera, but let me just catch you back up again. So for my Geminis for 2020, um, I started with uh, the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann, and I asked about the energies that you're going to be coping with in July of 2020. And um, I think it's going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride for you guys emotionally, but ultimately it's all going to be for the best. You're walking away from something, um, saying goodbye to something, and walking towards a brighter future. You have the Four of Wands. It came out in the reverse, but I do want you to know that this is not a negative aspect. I just simply think that things that are... Um, that are making you, so for this card is traditionally you, what I see as the, the grounded sort of happy home, being happy in your home. This is a little bit out of whack for you this month. Uh, there's a little bit of upheaval close to home. Um, fours are a very grounding energy though, whether, no matter which way you slice it. So, you know, it's just a little blip um, the energies are a little bit unstable, but I do feel like there, you know, there is comfort here. There is happiness here. Um, it's just a little bit unstable at the moment. And then you've got the five of cups in reverse, which is, you know, having dealt with a lot of sadness and it's so funny because, you know, these cards are so similar, even in the design of the cards, um, both being on a beach, you know, both near water, and obviously we know the cups are the suit of water, uh, both representing um, a feeling of melancholy, but a feeling of, you know, letting something go, releasing, letting something pass through us, um, watching it, uh, watching it spill out, um, consciously spilling it out, letting out tears, letting out emotion, uh, being very, you know, feeling like you're going through a state of, of catharsis in a way. Um, but again, the, there's also, there's a, you know, what I love about these two cards is that even though they have a melancholic feel to them, they also have a beauty to them. They're very beautiful cards. Um, so there's beauty in the sadness and, and you are walking away towards something better. You are letting go of something once and for all consciously. And these are, you know, these are, are good signs. They may be cathartic. They may be um, challenging in the moment going through them. But ultimately, you come out the other side of this just fine. Let's look in a little bit deeper here with um, the um, Fountain Tarot. Okay. So we have the world card. We have justice in the reverse. And we have the moon. Well, you know, it is cancer season, Gemini. And um, typically, the, you know, well, first of all, in the moon definitely rules cancer. Um, you've got some strong energies coming in this month a lot of emotion this month again you know you've got cups you've got a lot of water energy so you're going to be feet you're going to be going through the feels <clears throat> excuse me the feels this month Gemini there's a lot that you're processing a lot that you're going through emotionally um it may feel like you know your world is is sort of upended but um you know the world is a fabulous card it's a culmination and like I said, you know, with this top layer up here of you letting things go, um, I mean, this to me also means that uh, there's a new start for you. You know, so many of um, of the signs are going through renewals or massive karmic changes. Um, and I've said this in, in the other videos with the other signs, but I'll say it here too. That's why I chose not to focus on just one aspect, whether it be love or career or finances, because it just didn't feel right this month. 
I really felt like we were, you know, we're dealing with so many heavy energies that are beyond our control right now as a collective. You know, we're dealing with planetary shifts that are pretty monumental, and I'm not an astrologer. Um, so if you want to know the particulars, I highly recommend that you tune into a channel where, you know, you can get some great advice from real astrologers. I dabble in it in the sense that, you know, obviously as a, um, a spiritual person and a reader and, and, and someone who does Reiki and all that kind of stuff, I mean, I'm interested in knowing all of that but um, and keeping on top of it. But I, you know, I can't speak on it in, in, in a way that an astrologer who has studied it can. But I will tell you that the eclipse season that we've been going through is no joke. Everything is intensified. Um, I'm a Taurus, so the Venus retrograde really affected me and I really felt the energy shift when Venus went direct again um, because that is my ruling planet. So, um, you know, and now we've got Mars to contend with, which is going to be for quite some time. And, you know, 2020 has just been chock full of lessons. And then, of course, there's everything that's going on with the pandemic in the world and with politics and the United States is going through a lot of upheaval. So there's a lot going on and it doesn't surprise me that it's trickling down into every single group, you know, every single astrological sign. So um, I will say this to you as I've said to the others, please be gentle with yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Any kind of blocks that you're coming up personally are probably reflected in the greater uh, collective. So, you know, no point in, you know, beating yourself up. Um, a lot of emotion. A lot of things that were hidden may come to light. Um, and, you know, you, it's like you're, it's for, I get this like phrase in my head, Gemini, when I'm looking at this card for you is like the end of an era. Don't know what that means exactly. I mean, it'll resonate with different people differently. So if it resonates with you, um, please do let me know what it means to you in the comments below. But, um, the end of an era, there's like a big finish, a big culmination, something is ending, a, a big thing is ending for you. Um, you're, you know, you're going to be feeling a little bit like you're coping with some unfairness in your life right now. Um, I'm not clear what it is yet. I will throw some cards on this stuff, but uh, you're not feeling seen and heard. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say right now. I want to take the Muse Tarot and aspect, aspect some of these, and I want to move the camera down a little bit. Okay, so uh, please aspect for me. Guides, Guardian Angels, Ascended Masters, Gemini. I'd like to know more about the Justice card, please. What? Injustice is Gemini facing in July. Okay, really? Spirit. Let me hold the phone here. There are two that popped up upright. Uh -huh. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Inspiration reversed and we've got oops, switch them here and then we've got the three of materials reversed so there is some sort of collaboration here that has gone awry and I I'm getting a very strong sense and the reason why I'm getting this strong sense is because of what's come before it uh, which has been a lot of water, a lot of cups, a lot of emotional stuff. This, you know, family card kind of upended with a little bit of, um, of uh, disharmony in, in the household. I, I'm, I'm having a, a very strong intuition that this three of materials deals with family or with siblings. There's... Um, there's going to be some conflict between siblings here 
uh, in the month of July, Gemini, if you have brothers and sisters. If you don't have brothers and sisters, then it could be with very, very good friends. There could be some sort of argument or some sort of upheaval that happens uh, that makes you feel <clears throat> like unfairly judged, uh, not seen, not heard, not respected. Um, I'm sensing some conflict here even though there is no direct conflict card, but this is coming up for me. Uh, and then with this particular card, the Nine of Inspiration in Reverse, well, the Inspiration um, uh, represents in this suit the uh, wands, I believe, and I think there's a feeling of well I'm looking at these these images here in the back here are these like unicorn coned uh, statues or female unicorns that it, it, these horns that are coming out two things I'm getting from this image right off the bat as I'm looking at the card is you feel ostracized because you feel unique and alone in the way you're thinking and feeling about something. And also that the, the horns kind of, you know, are like this. So there's a protective element. You're protecting yourself. Um, you're protecting yourself from an attack, but you're wearing a fabulous dress. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, these are just such beautiful cards. I, I couldn't resist making that joke. But no, um, Gemini, in all seriousness, you know, you've got this in the reverse. And so there's some strained energy here. I, I feel like you're on guard. You know, you're, you're feeling wounded and you're feeling very protective of yourself. And you're feeling very much like a unicorn in your family. Like you're not fitting in some way, shape or form. Let's see if there's just anything else that pops out for you. Um, any more clarity here for my Gemini's spirit? Ace of materials reversed. Uh huh. Hmm. has to do with with money I feel like there's going to be an argument over money or material things an argument over money or material things see if I can get all the cards in my camera here I may not be able to guys but I will definitely keep referring to them here so you can see them all so yeah there's gonna be some family conflict I think Gemini's this month um, uh, let's let's do an animal card and let's see if that gets us into a different direction because sometimes when I use um, Oracle decks, you know, it kind of will redirect us if, if I'm if I'm feeling a little bit like I'm not the messages are not are too broad and not coming in clear enough. So let's see what your animal spirits have to say. Groundhog spirit. <laughs> okay, time to let go. Well, what did I tell you? You know? You've got these two cards that are all about emotional release and letting go. And your animal spirit is telling you to let go as well. There's something you need to let go of. Perhaps it's a position that you hold in the family. You know, like maybe you're the one that everyone goes to for help or advice or solace in some way, shape or form. Or you're the leader of the family or you're the head of the family or you're 
or you're the uh, punching bag of the family. But there's something, there's a position in which you are being guided by spirit. You're being told to let go of it because it causes you a great deal of emotional upheaval and sadness and it's affecting you unnecessarily in a very personal way. It's draining you. Um, it's draining you and it's only causing disbalance in your home environment, which should be solid, which should not be top topsy-turvy. Um, there is a dynamic that needs to change, that needs to shift. And I think it will. I really believe that you will. Uh, and you've got the universe on your side because this is a major arcana card and it's telling you that it's the end of an era. You have come full circle on a cycle. There's an injustice here that you're recognizing now that maybe you never recognized before. It's cut, you know, it's like breaking through the illusion, the emotional illusion. You know, sometimes when we're very emotional, we can't really see clearly because the emotion overwhelms us and overpowers us. Um, and I feel like, you know, you have a tendency in this particular area of your life when it comes to family and, and home to be very, very emotionally um, affected. let go you've got to let go of that and again you know there will be there will be a sense of you feeling you know not not seen and not heard feeling protective of yourself there will be there will be conflict within the family between family members or like I said if you don't have a family between maybe some good friends um, it could be over money or possessions. Um, let's see if there's any other cards that want to come out here for Gemini. What's the advice besides letting go? Is there anything else that Gemini's need to know about July 2020? like they're telling you to let go of not of caring but of investing so much of yourself to the point that it's detrimental to your health your mental health your emotional health you stress yourself out a lot Gemini when it comes to your family and this month it's really going to come up to the surface yeah oh okay I'm so not surprised this came out. The King of Cups. The King of Cups is really the card about mastering your emotions. That's what the King of Cups represents. It, 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 I mean, this is, this is someone who really knows how to balance themselves in relationships and how to not be drained by other people emotionally to not take everything to heart this is somebody who has mastered their emotions so along with the groundhog spirits time to let go it's it's spirit is telling you the advice for this sort of emotional roller coaster of a month that you might be encountering in july gemini is to Finally, release and let go and, ma and, and, and learn to master your mind. Master your mind, you will master your emotions. Emotions, let them flow like water because they are transient. They are not who you are. You are not.